which of the five versions of A Course in Miracles should I read? <laughs> Has anybody ever heard that one? <laughs> which of the five versions? Now let's take what Jesus says in the Course and let's apply it to that question, okay? When you decide upon the form of what you want, you lose the understanding of its purpose. Basically, that's an ego question. Which of the five versions of A Course in Miracles should I study? You see? Because Jesus is saying all form is the same. In the introduction, he says, you know, free will does not mean you can establish the curriculum. It just means that you can decide what you want to take at a given time. And then in the Manual for Teachers, Jesus even comes out and says that you cannot even decide the form of the curriculum. Isn't that lovely? Now, if you cannot, if you take Jesus to heart, to what he's teaching in A Course in Miracles, why would you ask which version of A Course in Miracles you should be studying when Jesus has already said you can't even pick the form of the curriculum? that it's all part of a pre-arranged plan, that everybody, Helen Shuckman was told, everybody's, the world's uh, worsening to an alarming extent, and everybody's been called to accept their part in a pre-arranged plan. What if the script is written? What if there is no escape from what must occur? What if you're just asking questions that aren't real questions? They're just ego ponderings, you see? because they're pondering about the form. Which form is better? Which form is better? That's what the ego is doing all day. Which form is better? What if there's no hierarchy of illusions? What if there is no better form or worse form? Because they're all the same mistake. Every form is the same illusion. Like lesson number one, nothing I see means anything. Now that is getting into the practical application of A Course in Miracles, you see? That's taking you more towards a transcendent state of mind that's so peaceful that finally you understand who you are. And when you understand who you are, you have just solved every ego question in the world. <laughs> every single ego question of the trillions were just a defense against remembering, who am I? And, and Jesus is saying, actually, it's a very simple answer. <laughs> and the Christ never asked the question. Uh, the Christ is the Christ. The Christ has always been the Christ. The Christ will always be the Christ. So this is what we mean by practical application. Devote your life, your mind, your heart, to knowing the Lord thy God, and then watch how easily everything else in your mind falls away. Watch how quiet you become when you devote yourself to that pur purpose, to really do that. Watch how the questions start to disappear. Maybe you had questions. Go into the light and the stillness in your mind and watch how the questions disappear.